All right, I'm gonna go rather quick on this one just so you can get to the inside of it to see. It's lot 143. It's a 2008 Jeep Liberty. It is a V6 engine, 130,860 miles. We brought her back from across town about 30 miles. Ran and drove good getting here. We did have to boost it off. Uh, but battery has held up since. You see a few scratches here on this fender. It had been sitting under some trees. A few scratches on the front bumper. And we give it a bath the best we could. Show you the under the hood is perfect. It is missing the uh, hood prop. So we have given it a new hood prop. I think it's a seven iron missing a head. But you're welcome to keep that hood prop. But as you can see around the corners, there's some black. We washed it, but didn't miss a little bit of that. It's probably going to need a professional detailing. A little bit of black grit down in between the rails there. But other than that, this is a good looking little Jeep Liberty. It's 3.7 liter. It's got most all the bells and whistles. It's straight, except for those few little scratches I was showing you. And I'm gonna take you inside to show you everything. Interior-wise, we'll go to the back seats first. It's very good, other than just needing a little cleaning. All right, in the back, once again, pretty clean. All right, get in and show you. All right, couple of things I wanted you to know about. It has a full sliding roof here. Opens up all the way. Appears to work well. Although it was dry when we got it. There is a few, see the little coloring stains? I'm not sure if that's from leaving the top open at some point. It's, it's dry now to the touch, but it appears to have leaked in a couple of spots around through there. So please preview and check that possibility out. All right, and we're going to go on to show you the dash. All right, top closes up good, nice and solid and quiet. All right, and the radio, the only other issue I noticed with the interior the on off is off uh, knob is broke off the radio but you can control by the buttons on the back of the steering wheel so we can still do volume and I was able to just it's a push on so you just reach in and push the push the little knob in and you still push on push off so the radio is still functional in every way it just does not have its control knob there and I'm not sure if that can be if that's a knob that you can replace or if that's actually broke off. Alright, as you can see, a little long gas, about 130,000 miles. Like I say, run drove good, no check engine lights, everything else seems to be working fine on it. Steve drove it here from picking it up from the, the lady's home. And uh, like I said, I think it'll make you a good vehicle, but come check it out and good luck New Year's Day.